Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls. This is Kay. I hope you all are having happy holidays. I expect this video will be uploaded to YouTube on or around Christmas. So, uh, I haven't played in about four days, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play for quite a few hours today so that I have a nice backlog of videos to upload since I probably won't be playing over the holidays very much. Uh, I have, in the past like 24 hours, gone through and rewatched almost all of the previous videos and read all of the comments. You guys absolutely rock. I love you all. Uh, I, I can't believe how just nice and welcoming all of your comments have been on YouTube. Uh, I just love it. And you all are so informative. I have learned a whole list of things that I'm going to be going through today. Uh, but I thought that the very first thing that I would do is go through the store, since I said I would last time. So here we go. It's time for Dark Souls. Is it bad that I had to look down at the control? Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. What is this? This is not something I like. Oh, God. <clears throat> Hello YouTube, and welcome to episode 24 of Dark Souls. Okay, so, uh, that was entertaining, I guess. I don't even know what happened. I was in the middle of a thought, and a whole lot of things jumped on me and ate me. So here we are, back in Undeadburg. Let's go over some of these, uh, some of these items as I try to get back to Firelink Shrine. The reason I want to go to Firelink Shrine is because that sorcerer's apprentice said that he was going to be there. And if there's even a small chance that he gives me some magic spell, I want to make sure I do that. Oh god, I'm so rusty, guys. You'll notice that I'm using the spear, so let's start there. One of the comments that was left on YouTube was that when you're using the spear, or I guess any kind of, like, pokey-type weapon, so probably the S-Stock and maybe the Halberd, I'll have to try them. If you're holding up the shield, you can kind of do the light poking attack while still blocking with the shield, which is great. I mean, offense and defense at the same time, although it does seem like it really drains the stamina, because I guess when you're holding up the shield... Like, look at my stamina bar. When you're holding up the shield, the stamina comes back really slow. But if I drop the shield, then it goes really fast. So it seems like, you know, the, the game developers don't want you just holding up your shield all the time in battle. Uh, which is good, because I guess it's something that I do kind of, uh, kind of intuitively from other games that have shields in them. Oh my god. It's been a while, guys. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> My common commentary is going to be off. My <laughs> attacks are going to be off. That purple icon, by the way, the the purple circle up in the top left underneath my life and stamina bars, that's a uh, that's there because my life is so low. And I'm wearing this this blue tear stone ring. Oops. Well, not anymore. I'm not. Oh, jeez. So the blue tear stone ring from Katarina boosts the defense of its wearer when in danger. Um, boost defense while hit points is low. So my hit points are low. So I guess that uh, that purple teardrop and the light that are coming off of my character are both indicators that my defense is being boosted at the moment because I'm about to die. <laughs> because I haven't played this game in a week and I'm terrible at it now. Alright, let's just get back to Firelink and regroup 
and not run around with no life. There, so now it's gone. Oh, this is awful, guys. I feel like I'm playing drunk or something. There's some guys out here. guy likes to jump, if I remember. I'm getting a lot of fire bombs. It's nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get my mind kind of settled. Whoa! Oh, here's the apprentice. Griggs of Vinheim. No D. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? I honestly could not be more interested. Teach me everything you know, please. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Now see, this apprentice seems like an all-around nice guy. He doesn't laugh creepily. He's kind, he's gentle, he's like the most sane person that I've met so far. So, we are teaming up with him, and we're gonna be a sorcerer. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer, and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead, but one day he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way, but where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery, but Master Logan could find no use for me. All right, I'm writing all this down. Master Logan is the sorcerer teacher, and he left on a lark. The note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. Master Logan went through Sen's fortress to an Orlando's archive to look for knowledge. Got it. Two things are required for sorcery. First, you must equip a wand. Second, you must attune a sorcery. Then you will be ready to fire away. Oh, and don't forget to aim. Oh, we're so far ahead of you. Two things are required. Second, then, oh, and... Let's see what you have for sale. All right, you've got Soul Arrow, which we have. You've got Heavy Soul Arrow, which we also have. Great Soul Arrow. Well, these arrows are getting better and better. Let's see what this one is. At the Vinheim Dragon School, the acquisition of this spell marks an apprentice's coronation as a sorcerer. And we have the intelligence for it, but we don't have the money or the souls. Fall control. Reduce damage and noise from fall. The sorcery along with hush explains the extravagant cost of hiring Vinheim spooks. Huh. So I guess that lets you uh, like jump from really high places without dying, maybe. Great heavy soul arrow. Wow. 
Magic weapon. Magic augmentation. Sorcery for casters who wield swords. The power of the magic swordsman of Inheim is predicated upon this and magic shield. Many warriors learn sorcery just for this. So you can, like, boost your weapon and shield, I guess? Right weapon. Aural decoy. Lure enemies away by creating a sound originating in the distance. Oh, that's, that's really cool. So you could, like, maybe sneak through levels instead of fighting through levels. Magic shield. Okay. So I guess you could just kind of make your, like, weapons and armor better. With, uh, with these spells, but I don't have enough for any of this, so just browsing. Just window shopping. Goodbye, Ed. Do stay safe. Will do. Well, no, I'll probably do the opposite. I'll probably die a whole lot. But I'm undead, so who cares? Have you been to the ruins of New London below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two, unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> oh yeah, the ghosts found me. The ghosts were terrifying and terrible, and I don't want to go back. How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected, but I suppose stranger things have happened. How did that raggedy old charm end up? You know, the one who idolized some godmother of pyromancy. He left for Blighttown, but never came back. Whereas most flee from sickness, he dives right in. Well, nothing will harm him once he goes hollow. I think I just got a new quest. Uh, some some raggedy fellow oh, I kind of missed that dialogue something about pyromancy and a guy being a guy going to blight town and not coming back I'll rewatch it in the video hmm? what now I'm not up for chatting leave me alone okay here we are back in Firelink We've talked to the sorcerer, so I can check that off. And while I'm here, I wanted to check out these stairs again. See if I can figure out where the, uh, where the bottom or the top of the stairs are so that I can get to that platform. <laughs> the bird is sleeping. It doesn't look like it there. That's funny. Okay. So the stairs are... Like up there somewhere. So maybe there's a ladder around here that I didn't see in the, in the cemetery. Oh, maybe there's a ladder in that... There's that treasure chest that I opened before. Maybe that's where it is. I didn't really look around that area too much. Over here. So a number of people left comments on, on my videos saying that uh, I missed something, or that I've missed several things, but one of them, that the this mystery key that I have, uh, this thing, I guess I missed what I was supposed to use this for, and now it's too late to use. 
Uh, so this key supposedly unlocked a cell in the undead parish that this gentleman, not him, but this, uh... Okay, well, there was a guy here the last time I came down here. A guy in, like, gold armor. And he was, uh... I guess he was, like, trapped in a cell in the undead parish that this mystery key opened. And I never found it. So the game just, like, let him out automatically. And now he's gone. So... I guess I missed a quest. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> if I ever play this game again, next next playthrough, uh, <laughs> I'll find and unlock that guy. So, sorry y'all. Uh, also, a number of people said that I missed something good in the, uh, in the Undead Parish, so I might head up there, but probably not this episode. I really want to find these stairs. I don't know why I'm so, like, hung up on these stairs. If I, if I don't find anything, like, if I just run around here for half an hour and can't find any, any way up there, I'll, uh, you know, I'll put an annotation like early in this video that tells you that so that you can skip over it instead of just watching me fumble around. Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume. Come again. Nothing new from him. I broke all this pots before. I think I ever went around the building this way. See, that's where I'm trying to get, like right up there. And, okay, I want to go down here and see if there's a ladder. I think that was the that was where I first came into this area. Like I went into the elevator, I, I fell into the elevator actually, and uh, up here, man, I just do not see how to get up there. You know, I never really looked over on that side of the graveyard. Maybe there's just a way to kind of go over there and like get on top of this hill and just run up there. It's possible I just haven't gone far enough here. one of those big skeletons up here. Eh, why not? There he is. Maybe I can get a hit him before he gets up. And then run. Oh, I've got magic now. Ha ha ha! You skeletons are nearly as frightening with magic. You're still a little bit frightening, though. Let's do heavy Solero. Uh-oh. No, no, no. That's right. We're a magic user.
Oh, there's treasure down there. can't be good. This cannot be good. I'm stuck. Uh. Oh guys. Not in the groove. Not in the groove this morning. I want to get that treasure though. I'm just going to run in there and get the treasure. Like, direct route. No time for fighting. Hello. Just passing through. Don't mind me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Binoculars? Ooh. That is totally my kind of item. That was the gift that I wanted to get at the beginning. Uh oh. Oh no. Worth it. We're, we're gonna say worth it for that one. Because now I can look at all you skeletons from afar. Okay. Binoculars. I uh, don't need these. What did this do? Purple mo oh, purple moss clump I bought from that lady merchant in the aqueduct. I would already put these on my on my bar. There we go. The Knox. There we go. Oh, ho ho ho! You all do realize that the next, like, ten videos in the series are just gonna be me looking through binoculars at things, right? I'll try to progress, I promise. I won't just do this forever. Okay, I officially give up on stairs. So this is where I'll cut to with the annotation. So the next thing that I wanted to do is go back to, uh, go back to the bottom street of Undeadburg. And the fastest way there would be going through the aqueduct, I think, because that was the last, that was the last, uh, the last door I opened, shortcut I opened. I'm just going to be all over the road this video. Usually when I record these videos, I'm kind of, I'm kind of playing first and then talking over them, uh, talking over them is kind of secondary, like the, the commentary is just natural. But the problem is this time I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm saying first and playing the game is kind of secondary, which is why I'm like running around like a doofus. And then I realize I'm doing it, and it gets in the way of what I'm saying, so. We'll just chalk this one up to, I've been gone for half a week. I don't have any money for you. So there was an archer down here. 
just feels so bad for this guy. He just stands here. Does all right. He can live. You know what? He can live. He hasn't hit me anyway, so. Thank you for this. So the reason that I wanted to come down here uh, wasn't. All oh, right, these guys. It wasn't just to go through the store again. Oh, Jesus. I need to concentrate. This is awful. As I was saying, it wasn't just to go through the store. There, uh, I saw a couple of things in previous videos that I wanted to uh, check out. Timing. <laughs> this game seems to be about... <laughs> I hear dogs. It seems to be about timing, and right now, I don't got it. use the spear on those guys so that I can block and poke. In fact, I'm going to switch to that right now because I think there's more of them. See? Check that out. The shield is up the whole time. Alright, there's some of these hooded hollows. two more dogs up here too. And a whole bunch more guys that came out of these doors. Uh, God. Uh, I'm so far from the groove. Like, like, photons of light that are leaving the groove, like right this moment, aren't going to hit me for another, like, 30 years. That's how far from the groove I am. The reason that I'm trying to go back to... to the street at the bottom of Undeadburg is not to go through the gate, although I'll do that too. But it's because in one of the, in, in like the last video or the next to last video, the one where I freed Griggs of Inheim, I noticed that one of the barrels in that room, uh, well, one of the barrels had a dead body in it, and I like broke that barrel and I picked up a set of uh, sorcerer's armor off of the body. But I noticed when I was playing the video back that there was another barrel in that room that did not have a lid on it. And if you go back and look at that, maybe I'll put like an annotation so that you can see it in the video. There was a barrel in like the back left corner of the room that didn't have a that didn't have a lid. So I really want to break that barrel and see if there's something in it. Just because it's different. And the other reason that I wanted to go into that same location is there was a there was like an archway that had boards covering it. And I couldn't figure out how to get through it. Like, I tried swinging, I tried rolling, I tried doing everything to break the boards, but what I didn't try was lighting them on fire. And they give you, like, this huge, uh, this huge, like, pile of rubbish that's on fire, like, right next to it. 
So I thought maybe... Maybe they want me to, like, use a wooden weapon or, like, some item. Or, like, click on the, on the pile of rubbish or something to, like, get a... To get, like, a torch and then try to light those boards on fire to go through that doorway. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. I, I didn't even want to go this way. I want to go... Down here. I'm going to let this archer live again. Uh, in fact, I'm going to give him a name. And his name is going to be... Uh, his name is going to be Alexander Fallone, who is a, YouTube, a YouTuber who has been very helpful and given me a lot of good hints. So there you go, Alexander. That's for you. You are a, uh, a short bow wielding hollow in Dark Souls now. doing? What am I doing? Why am I being so dumb? There's dogs now behind me. Oh god. Okay. Calm. Stay calm. I'm calm until a dog shows up. There. I'm no longer calm. This is a, a teeny tiny bit agitating, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut the video here, and uh, just you know mark this one with red tape and a giant X or whatever it takes, and I'll be back in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna get all of this stuff off of my mind and then actually focus on the game. That's the plan. All right, see you guys in a little bit.